Hey Monster Truck fans, welcome to Action Tracks presented by E3 Spark Plugs. This time we're coming to you from the Jefferson County Fairgrounds, the gas guzzy old school throwback monster truck challenge. Jeff Cook's show made famous up in Auburn, Indiana with floating monster trucks, car crushes, mud bogs. This time just bringing it down to a smaller level and, and bringing it to a lot of the local fairgrounds in the, the Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, Illinois area. And all that action is coming up next. Hey Monster Truck fans, welcome back. I'm your host Chris Parrish and we're coming to you from the Jefferson County Fairgrounds in Madison, Indiana where Jeff Cook, the creator of the Gas Guzzy Old School Monster Truck Show is bringing you a smaller old school monster truck show featuring the following trucks. Shotgun Harry, driven by Todd Lockwood. Next up, we've got the brand new Hawk, driven by Jeff Cook. High Horse will be driven by a longtime employee of Jeff's, Eric Howe. And lastly, it's Andy Hoffman in the awesome Night Crawler tank. We're going to head right on into action. Coming out first is going to be Eric Howe in the High Horse. As I said earlier, Eric's been a longtime employee of First Attack Engineering, Jeff's fire truck assembly company, built his own truck with Jeff's help and now he's outperforming a great looking piece and he's starting the show off by crushing some pickup trucks. A 1979 Ford Bronco. They've done a lot of work to this truck and it's looking great. How coming out in his new high horse monster truck and picking on the pickup truck the High Horse just finished this year, and Eric Howe doing a great job. We caught up with him earlier. We're with Eric Howe, driver of the brand new High Horse Monster Truck Bronco. Eric, you've been a longtime fan. You finally built your own truck with the help of Jeff and, and the entire First Attack team. What's it mean to you to, to finally be in the sport? Oh, it's just incredible. The feeling is totally awesome, you know. I owe so much to Jeff Cook for getting me started in this and hooking me up with a lot of stuff. So it's just phenomenal. I can't even describe it. Now, what made you go with the Ford Bronco body? Well, I'm a Ford man, hardcore Ford man. And, you know, the Bronco was available. It was something I came across, and I really love the old Broncos. So we decided to build a Bronco. Out there on the track tonight, we, we saw you really going for the uh, the two pickups out there. Uh, was there any significance in, in attacking the pickups? Well, they were Chevy trucks. We had to smash them with the Ford, you know, so it was just awesome. We had a lot of fun with it. Just something to have fun with, you know. <laughs> the Ford guy out with a vendetta against the Chevys. You just heard it from Eric Howe, but coming out next is the truck that started the old school movement back again. Jeff Cook's Shotgun Harry 1977 International Scout 2 Traveler. Jeff started this truck in 1990, actually as a new race truck, and things kind of changed for him. The truck got put on the shelf, never was completed. He sat out behind the barn for a long time, and, and finally Jeff started thinking, well, you know, I, I need to, I'd really like to have a new leaf spring truck and, and just go out and do some simple car crushes and, and, and just relive when times were simpler. And, and so Jeff got motivated, and here you see the result, Shotgun Harry, a great looking truck, and now Jeff's got a, a fleet of three trucks, you could say, with high horse included in that.
Shotgun Harry, the truck is driven by Todd Lockwood this weekend. Todd, no stranger to the driver's seat, used to drive the Jeep Scrambler known as Top Gun back in the day, and he is attacking the car set in reverse. You can really hear the metal crunching. As you listen to the Shotgun Harry there, another unique note you'll, you'll notice is, is that the truck has a completely different sound. That's because it's actually powered by a Cummins turbo diesel. Jeff designed this truck to be a, a family toy up on the Indiana Dunes. And so this truck can be driven around all day long. That's gonna be all for Shotgun Harry right now. I think we'll see him later. Jeff Cook, the creator of the GasGuzzy.com old school movement. You, you started with the big show in Auburn. Now you're taking the show on the road. Yeah. Uh, tell us about uh, how that came about. Well, we just wanted to do some shows, and I had a lot of people. We did a couple little fairs in Auburn last year around the area, and we had a lot of people just really be thrilled with it. And they come up to me, and they said, man, this brings back so many good memories. You know, can can you take it around on tour? So we just we went to some fair uh, convention deals and got a hold of some of the people and, and uh, decided we'd go on the road with it. So I guess here we are. <laughs> On one of the hottest days of the summer, it's a, like the heat index they said was 104 a little bit ago, and I tell you what, it's hot. You heard it right there. Jeff Cook bringing the show on the road, just bringing back some memories. A lot of old school fans really eating up this idea. High Horse is back on the track. He's going to do a more traditional car crush after coming out and kicking on the Chevy trucks a little while earlier. Oh, he's going back to the Chevy. The Ford guy just can't resist. You see the glass shattering right there. This truck fairly unique in that it combines old school and new school attributes. Short wheelbase. But the truck's running four length suspension with airbags, so the truck's got significantly more suspension travel than the leaf spring trucks that you'll see here today. Eric getting some air under the front tires, really doing a great job with the truck. He's, I think he's getting ready to whip it into reverse. Short wheelbase truck, really conducive to this sort of environment. Really able to, to get some good air under the front of the tires. Not tearing up the equipment, putting on a great show while he's at it. A great angle right there, making the truck look simply huge. The high horse monster Bronco, powered by a 460 cubic inch fuel injected Ford engine. Back around, gonna hit the cars once again, thundering down, smashing those cars. Looks like he's gonna back over the cars once again. You heard it earlier, Eric Howe, really excited to be involved in the monster truck sport. He got a taste as Jeff created the shotgun Harry truck and really wanted to have his home. It's a high horse and he's having a great time. We've got more great monster truck action in just a moment.